government, through its various ministries and agencies, awards a number of scholarships to students each year. You too could qualify and benefit from a scholarship or grant, but you must seek in order to find. At the primary level and moving on to high school, students who do GSAT each year and earn high scores can get scholarships from the Ministry of Education. The scholarships are awarded to students from both public and private institutions. The government in itself, the Ministry of Education, offers a total of 32 scholarships, government scholarships, yearly to students who sit GSAT examination. Of the 32, four are named after prominent Jamaicans, former government minister J.A.G. Smith and three of the national heroes, Marcus Garvey, Paul Bogle, and George William Gordon. To qualify for these, students must meet some personalized criteria, generally related to the person in whose honor the scholarship is named. For example, the Paul Bogle Scholarship, it is offered to um, a boy or a girl who must be attending Morant Bay High School. So if a child is um, selected, to attend Moran Bay High School, then that child qualifies to be among those who will be selected. But the bottom line is that it would be based on performance. So what of the next 28? Well, these are awarded annually to the top performing boy and girl in each parish. Basically, the 28 scholarships are awarded based on performance, purely and it is um, awarded to all school types. So private, which we refer to the prep schools, um, all eight schools, primary and junior high primary school students. Since these students are selected based entirely on scores, the process is rather easy. In addition to these, the Education Ministry also offers sponsored scholarships extended through private sector institutions such as banks to top performing students. High schoolers, you might have just completed fifth or sixth form and are ready to experience the college life. In case you didn't know, the Student Loan Bureau actually offers grants. Yes, under its specially designed Grant in Aid GIA program, students receive a specified non-repayable sum to assist with the funding of school-related expenses. It's not a full scholarship, but it can certainly help to make a difference. Check out the Bureau's website to see if you qualify or call them at 754-2559. Then there is JAMVAT. The Jamaica Values and Attitudes program is another viable option from the Ministry of Education. Students volunteer for 200 hours and in turn earn a payoff of 30% of their tuition fees as well as an additional stipend. A great reason to volunteer indeed. For those of you already in university, the Ministry of Education's tertiary level unit is a great place to start your search. You can stop by their offices, make a call or simply log on to their website, click on scholarships, and a long list of opportunities opens. The Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs also have a number of scholarship programs in place, especially if you're looking for opportunities to study abroad. Think Cuba, Russia, Japan, and so many other foreign countries. These scholarships offer not just educational advancement, but to a greater extent, a cultural exchange and broadening of your global network. Yeah. If you need help in your search for scholarships, another government agency, the National Center for Youth Development, which falls under the Ministry of Youth and Culture, also displays scholarship options for students on its website. For further tips, call and or check out the websites of the Ministries of Education, Finance and Foreign Affairs. Hope you found the information quite useful. Students go online, check out the websites, call the numbers, be proactive and make the necessary steps in making your educational dreams a reality. Yeah.